wagwan me youtube family and welcome back to another video so today we're making a lobster in coconut sauce or in coconut milk so here we have three lobsters and what we're about to do is to cut the lobsters into half and clean them lobster shells are hard to crack guys because they are very tough so if you have a kitchen scissors or a knife one of the big knife them guys you can use that to crack open the lobster shell So once you have achieved that guys we're just going to go ahead and wash the lobster right so we're going to wash to remove all that waste from the head guys you don't know why in a lobster head so we're going to wash out all of that right if you also like to see us make a seafood boil jamaican version you can comment down below if that's a video that you would enjoy watching on our channel. So after washing the waste from the lobster, we're just going to go ahead and wash it also with some vinegar or lime juice. Whichever one you have available, you can use that to minimize the rawness from the lobster. okay so the lobsters are washed and next we're going to season you know say our all-time favorite with good old maggie all-purpose season with salt and a little bit of black pepper so we try to make the ingredients minimal so our audience can have a easy and a simple step-by-step -step tutorial to follow 
on how to prepare our meals so what we added here we added some maggi all-purpose season we also added a pinch of black pepper and some salt so we're just going to combine these ingredients and massage the season onto the lobster Okay, so after seasoning the lobster, what we're about to do next is to show you how we prepare our lobster in coconut milk or in coconut sauce, whichever way you want to call it. So first, we're going to fry the lobster into some hot oil. You can fry them fully, fully cooked or you can do it halfway too. What we did is to ensure that it is fully cooked, right? So you want to ensure that the lobster is fully cooked on opposite sides. So you just continue to monitor them and turn them on opposite sides until they are cooked. In the process or in the meantime, what you can do is to get your coconut juice ready. So whether you want to use the natural coconut or you want to use the coconut milk from the can or you want to also use the coconut milk powder whichever one you have readily available it can work just the same but today we're using the natural coconut which was already juiced and here we have it into our pot going to allow the coconut milk to boil until it start producing the custard on the top After producing that custard on the top, you want to also boil until you see a film of coconut oil on top of the coconut milk. Look at that guys. Very nice and lovely. As you can see, there is no coconut oil being produced on, on the top as yet. So what we're about to do is to continue to allow it to boil a little bit more until it starts to produce the oil on the top because you know say add a coconut oil on the top as well as the custard that is going to give us that rich coconut flavor to the lobster so next you're going to also prepare a seasoning your skelly and your garlic your thyme and so forth your scotch bonnet pepper and your pimento seed and you had it to the coconut milk to get all that natural flavor from the seasoning Okay guys, so after you finish making the coconut sauce, you're just going to pour the sauce onto the already cooked lobsters. And guys, this is not finished as yet. We have more to come. 
so you're just going to pour the coconut milk with the seasoning onto the lobster and what you're about to do is to allow the coconut sauce to simmer down so that it can become thicker because right now it's not thick guys that is just the coconut milk so you're going to allow it to simmer down until it is a bit more thicker look at that nice guys you want to smell this it smells so delicious can't wait for diving can see that this is well seasoned guys your scallion, natural season, your onion, your pimento seed, your tomato, your scotch bonnet pepper. And we're just going to cover the pot and allow it to simmer down until we get that sauce very thick. So you just cover your pot and allow it to simmer down. Nice. Mm-mm-mm. all right so it's a go and simmer down same way guys look at that look at the big difference the before and after look at that guys very juicy lobster very succulent guys look at that sauce nice lovely so just i gotta allow him for go and simmer down a little bit more right i do hope you enjoyed this recipe if you do give this video a thumbs up like comment share and subscribe if you're new and you haven't yet done so and look at our delicious lobster in coconut sauce look at the sauce guys it is very thick and rich a very juicy lobster guys wanna you know, like that one here comment down below drop some fire emoji in the comment section if you enjoy this recipe and also if you want us to make a seafood ball for you just comment down below and let us know guys motor on water i do hope you enjoy this recipe if you are a lover of seafood or if you love lobster or any seafood at all i'm going to place a link or a playlist to the seafood recipes that we have done and also for you to check out our escovitch lobster i'll just put a link in the top right corner for you want to check out more of our videos check these out